ever walk out of a movie and like you just can't even yeah yes totally get you like it was so good but good just doesn't cut it right so how do we how do we even describe it what are the words well that's what we're diving into today all okay. right synonyms and antonyms they're your secret weapons for well for unlocking like a way richer vocabulary i like the sound of secret weapons I'm right okay so synonyms lay it on me all right so synonyms are basically words that have you know similar meanings like uh -huh. instead of always relying on good think like captivating thrilling you oh, know ooh, captivating i like yeah, that exactly but there's gotta be more to it than just like swapping out good for fantastic every it's, time you got it you got it it's not just about having this like huge list of synonyms it's about understanding like the nuances nuances yeah each synonym has it's like its own little flavor uh, its oh. own little vibe what we call its connotation connotation right. so for example you could say something is funny or could say it's hilarious hmm. They both mean, you know, something that makes you laugh. Right. But hilarious, it just, it hits different. It does. It does. Okay, so it's like choosing the right spice for, like, what you're cooking. There you go. I wouldn't put chili flakes in my ice cream. Right? Thanks. <laughs> just like I wouldn't call, like, a, a lighthearted comedy gut-bustingly funny. Although maybe I would. I don't know. But you see what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's about, it's about the right, the right word, the right fit. <laughs> it all comes back to context. 100%. Yeah. And understanding not just what the word means, like literally that's denotation, but also that feeling, that vibe it gives off, the connotation. Okay. That's where the magic happens. Got it. So we've covered synonyms. What about their like word partners in crime? Uh, you mean antonyms? Antonyms. Yeah. The opposites. Exactly. These are key too. They give your language that contrast, that push and pull. Okay. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Think of it like, you know, light and shadow in a painting. Okay. You need both to create depth. Take hot and cold. Simple words, right? Totally. But without them, how'd you describe temperature? I guess everything would just be like lukewarm. Exactly. And nobody wants that, right? Yeah. You know, definitely not. <laughs> okay. So we've got these tools. We've got our spices. We've got our cookware. But how do we actually use them? Like, yeah. how do we take all of this and make it, I don't know, less blah i like where you're going with this right because that's what we're diving into next about how to make these words work for you so less blah more more what give me the how to all right so instead of just you know drowning in a sea of synonyms let's let's get strategic Ooh, strategic i like it right so think about like telling a story okay instead of saying he walked into the room boring yeah totally you could say he strutted he sauntered even he shuffled. Okay, so wait, just changing the verb. Exactly. See how each one just, it paints this whole different picture. <laughs> it does. Strutted, he's like confident, a little cocky maybe. <laughs> shuffled, I'm picturing it like slippers, defeat. Right. Okay, so verbs are powerful. Super powerful. And, and it's not just verbs. Think about adjectives, describing people, places, even, even emotions. Oh, emotions too. Yeah. Instead of happy, go with blissful content mm -hmm. elated you know it's like those filters but for like real life exactly okay but how do i choose like that's a lot of options context my friend who are you talking to what's the overall like tone the vibe and sometimes honestly you just got to trust your gut so it's like finding your own voice but with a like a deluxe vocabulary pack exactly and don't forget about our antonyms yeah. they're awesome for like building that tension that surprise Ooh, so we're talking plot twists intrigue exactly imagine a character who starts off like optimistic about this journey okay yeah but they face all these challenges and they become like jaded world weary exactly you see that shift that contrast that's the power of antonyms okay so it adds like another layer a whole other dimension and you know what else antonyms they can be hilarious okay now you're speaking my language right like, think about it. Instead of saying it was the best day ever, which is, let's be honest, kind of cliche. Totally. What if you said it wasn't the best day of my life? It was more like the least worst. Oh, my God. I love that. OK, that's brilliant. Right. You see how that unexpected pairing, it just it makes you laugh. It totally does. It's like you took the cliche, flipped it on its head. Exactly. It's about being playful with language, not taking yourself too seriously. So not every word has to be like straight out of a thesaurus. Exactly. Sometimes good or bad, they do the job just fine. But knowing when to like level up your language, that's that's the key. It's all about the right tool 
right? Mm -hmm. Like we said. 100%. It's about how you connect with people, tell stories that stick with them, you know, even ace that presentation. Okay, this is this is inspiring. <laughs> but also, like, what about when my brain just goes blank? Mm -hmm. it's like, I know there's a better word, but I just can't, I can't access it. That's a great question. And that is where our deep dive gets even more exciting. Remember those challenge time sections we do? Oh, yeah. We've got one coming up that's going to put those synonym and antonym muscles to work. In real time. In real time. Oh, my gosh. I'm a little nervous. It'll be fun. I promise. Okay. Okay, I'm in. Let's do it. Okay, so my brain is warmed up, ready to synonymize and antonymize. Give me the word. All right, let's start simple. Today's word is small. Small. Oh, come on. Oh, that's like <laughs> way too easy. Synonym. Tiny. Yeah. Antonym. Uh, large. Done. A solid start for sure. But remember those connotations we were talking about? Like mm -hmm. tiny and large, they get the job done. But don't you think we could spice things up a bit? Okay. Yeah, you're right. If I wanted to like really emphasize just how small something is, I might say it's minuscule and for the opposite. Yeah. How about colossal to like really drive home that contrast? Now you're talking minuscule and colossal. They just have this like dramatic flair, don't they? You're not just talking size anymore. You're painting a picture. You're right. You're right. It's like suddenly my vocabulary is like high definition. This is kind of fun, actually. Like a word puzzle, but for language nerds. Yeah. So what else can we do to like really make these words stick? You know, one of the best ways to to really own new words is to hear them out in the world. Like when you're reading a book, listening to a podcast. Do you podcast about synonyms and antonyms? Exactly. Pay attention to how those words are used, you yeah. know, how they make you feel, the images they create. So it's not just about like passively reading or listening. Mm. I got to be present with the words. 100%. And don't be afraid to like throw them into your own conversations. It might feel weird at first, but the more you use them, the more natural they become. It's like like learning a new language. Yeah. But way less intimidating. Exactly. And just remember, practice, practice, practice. The more you play with these words, the more they become second nature. I am so ready to go forth and like conquer the world with my supercharged vocabulary. That's the spirit. And remember, it's not about using the biggest, fanciest word every time. It's about finding your voice, expressing yourself with, you know, with clarity and creativity and maybe even, you know, a little bit of humor along the way. So the next time I'm tempted to just say good, mm -hmm. I'm going to channel my inner word wizard and find like the perfect synonym to really make it sing. I love it. And for everyone listening, just remember your vocabulary. It's a journey, not a destination. Keep exploring, keep experimenting, and most importantly, have fun with it. And on that note, we'll wrap up this deep dive into the awesome world of synonyms and antonyms. We hope you've discovered some new word weapons and feel ready to like level up your communication game. Thanks for joining us.